Devon was seen working on his arm wrestling angles in a recent practice with Curtis Cameron in his preparation for Levan Saginashvili. Naturally, some people are asking how is Curtis going to prepare Devon for Levan? Because the amount of power that the Georgian Hulk is going to bring on the table is nowhere close to what Curtis can imitate. He probably needs two more hands to imitate that kind of power. But we have to also consider that Devon does not have any other options. Why? Because Curtis is the strongest guy, the best arm wrestler in Canada. Because Devon is number one, Matt Mask is number two, but he was out in Dubai to hunt Derek Smith. So Curtis is the best guy available for Devon. And we have seen that Devon does not like to travel outside of his home, leave alone outside of his country because he does not have the same kind of setup to train because he trains for about a dozen times in a day which is impossible if you're not at your home and that's the exact reason why he didn't travel to Dubai to see his son's match well we also have heard Devon say in the past that he doesn't like to train with Matt Mask right before the super match maybe even a month or so before the super match because Matt can be too dangerous and there can be some injuries so even if Devon had other options Maybe he still wouldn't train and we have seen some guys that are even willing to travel to some other neighboring countries just to get a good table time but not the case with Devon. And anyways Devon believes on volume workout on the table and near max workout in the gym. He never goes all out anywhere, not in the gym, not on the table. That's just the way he trains and that has been working for him in all of the matches except that one Levan Saginashvili match and that's what he needs now. And in his recent video, he also said in some riddles that it can be easy for a 48-49 year old guy to just lay down his weapons to quit thinking that he's never going to be the best. But that's not Devon. He will try until he becomes the true king of arm wrestling by defeating Levan. Right now, he's kind of a interim number one arm wrestler in the world in Levan's absence. Although he's the East vs West champion, but Devon doesn't consider himself the true champion. Now let's discuss some East vs West and King of the Table matches. King of the Table card has just been announced and it is absolutely mind-blowing as Engin was saying that it is going to be. So Engin has announced all of the matches for his East vs West 12 April 20 card. Devon vs Levan, Hermes vs Alijan left arm. Alex Kordecha vs Georgi Svetkov. Now that's a surprising match. We didn't anticipate it. We didn't see it coming. Because Alex has top rolled Georgi once in the past and Devon mentioned that right before Georgi's super match. So maybe that is why. No, not maybe. Actually, Engin did mention it. That's exactly why he thought about this match to see if Alex still has what it takes to take Georgi Svetkov's wrist. Michael Todd, Frank Lamparelli, Samushia vs Nordala Taider Khan. That can be the match of the night. Schoolboy Leonidas, amazing match once again. Mindaugas vs Arthur. Fia Raisek vs Ekaterina Nikishiva, left arm match. That's a new announcement. Irakli Zerekashvili vs Oleg Petrenko at 105. Irakli keeps on saying that he will stay in 95, but he couldn't resist the good matches. And he believes he can be competitive in 105 against Oleg Petrenko. Petro Margarint vs Nugrazi Chikadze. Both of them are making a debut. Let's see who shines. Sandre Shedis vs Ibrahim Sagov. Great match. Talgat Aktayev vs Bethkili Onyani. Bethkili is making a comeback after a very long time. He did held up Oleg Zok's left arm for quite some time. Let's see what he can do here. Engin, I think, didn't mention whether it is left arm or right arm. Arsen Lilia vs Brendan Elsesser 105. This is slightly underwhelming considering some other opportunities that Arsen may have had because of his name. But I think it's a good decision to give him an easy match starting off. Not saying Brendan isn't strong, but he may not be Arsene Liliev strong. And Chan Shaw will also be organizing an event from now on in USA and Engin will be helping him doing that. Most matches are going to be West vs West with East vs West rule set. So Engin this time will also be having a Andre Pushkar. I hope it is a prime Andre Pushkar card. That is an amazing tribute to the legendary arm wrestler. So before somebody starts thinking that Engin is going to make money from it, no he isn't. Any money that that card makes by selling it, Engin is going to transfer the funds to his family, to Pushkar's family. And Pushkar's wife is going to be the special guest and his son is going to be signing these cards. So overall an awesome, awesome experience. And before we discuss King of the Table 11 card, this is what Engin said. So that's the full chart of the events this year. 
First we have in April East versus West 12, then King of the Table in June, then July East versus West. You can check it out for yourself. Now let's see all of the matches that this card actually holds. Amazing one. Denis Siplenkov versus Hermes Gasparini. We all know what is going to happen there. A great, great high level super match. Artem Morozov versus Ivan Matyshenko, left arm super heavyweight world title match. Now this is going to be a banger. I'll have Artem as the favorite, but Ivan can shock with his speed. Todd Hutchings vs Kidrgali Ongarbayev, the right arm rematch. So obviously this isn't a title match because Toddzilla was not able to successfully defend his title against David Dadikian. Monster Michael Todd vs Lars Rodbacken, that match was just postponed so it is still going to happen at this event. Revaz Lutidze vs Georgi Zaranov, out of nowhere. Top roll vs hook, let's see which one wins. Then Paul Lynn vs Lachlan Adair. I am quite sure this match was agreed on maybe a few weeks ago, I am guessing. And Paul Lin is already getting massive. He has already doubled his calories intake. So that's as good as it gets. Probably the best King of the Table card yet. Apart from one super match which we saw between Devon and Levan that created a next level hype. But still the overall card is much better than the previous ones. Thanks for watching. Like the video and subscribe.